everybody! Hi everyone! This is our special edition of Pastors in Minivans. Um, this is our third one or something like that. Um, and we are talking about stewardship because it's stewardship season yes. at Roseville Presbyterian Church. Yeah. And we're talking about nurture today. Yes. And the nurture is a big part of our church. Huge. We have adult nurture, we have youth nurture, we have children's nurture. Mm -hmm. And this is all under you. You, yes. you. you are the associate for Christian nurture. I am, I how, am. How do you like your job? Do. I love my job. I have a great job. I get to work with awesome people. And three of those awesome people are in the car with us today. Yes. So allow us to introduce you to them. You, we have Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. <laughs> and Lena. Lena. Hi, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so these are our um, nurture nurture ladies. Uh, they're just three of the many people who work uh, with our nurture programs, youth, children's, and adults. Um, and so uh, we let's start with Lindsay. Okay. Well, so wait. What's Lindsay saying? Lindsay, tell yeah. us a story about somebody or something or something that's happened of impact in uh, children's nurture. Okay. Well. I think it's really special that Children's Nurture, um, instead of just having one teacher, you know, we could have one teacher do it every week, but I think it's amazing that we have um, people from the congregation come and teach for us once a week. And so um, one of the stories I was thinking about was that Kelsey right here actually just um, taught for us for the very first time a few weeks ago. And her lesson was on, um, it was pretty much a golden rule about treating others as you treat yourself. And we watched a video and we um, packed bags for ChristNet coming in. Oh, and terrific. And we ate popcorn in our wonderful movie room. Everyone loves when it's a video day because we get popcorn and sit in the movie <laughs> theater seats and it's amazing. Is this and on Sunday morning? It is, yeah, all yeah. On Sunday mornings we got. Can anybody come or is it their age requirement? <laughs> just be a teacher, Phil. Oh. Yeah, we just recruited another one. Good job, Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, after that, I mean, this has been like a month ago, she does it. Uh, she, you know, Kelsey taught for us. Um, Allie, my youngest, my four year old, she will stop me every once in a while and say, you know, just because someone is different doesn't mean we can't be their friend. And that's what the lesson was all about. And so she really brought it home. So I love how we do everything, you know, we're interactive and the kids do activities that really brings it home and it drills it into their head. Absolutely. God's love. Uh, wonderful. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. So, Kelsey, tell us a story about adult nurture. All right. So I have lots of stories about adult nurture, but I think I'll focus on one that's particularly interesting to me. Uh, last, this past January, we were fortunate for the women's retreat to invite a lovely young lady named uh, Reverend Nicole Farley. She hosted and uh, led our women's retreat. And what was really special about it was uh, that we got to have an art experience while learning about our theme for last year's education hour, which was Love Thy Neighbor. She taught um, about uh, the struggles of refugees and immigrants in this country, and we were able to participate in an art experience, which is hanging now in the Fellowship Hall. Wonderful. What's really cool, though, now is that we've maintained this relationship with Nicole, and spoiler alert, April 2020, <laughs> she's going to be coming back and hosting an intergenerational event with our church at Girl Seal Presbyterian Church. So stay tuned for that. More details to come. Yeah. But it's just really special that we've been able to maintain these uh, relationships with the speakers and the people that we invite to teach during our ed hour and during our retreats and during our theologian and residence. Yeah. Yeah, we do a ton of stuff. We we really do. We're we're uh, we were just talking about it this morning that the church is always always has something going on, which is one of the reasons we love it. Um yeah. and so that takes care of children and adult nurture and now we have Lena to talk, who is actually our director of youth ministry, um, to tell us a little bit about youth nurture. So, Lena, tell us a story from youth nurture. There's a ton, for <laughs> sure. Um, actually, most recently, we had a lock-in, which was our first one in maybe two years mm -hmm. that we've actually had a lock-in lock-in where all the youth get to come, um, which meant that some of our seventh graders who had never been to one and our, some of our new sixth graders got to come to their first one. It is those lock-ins and late nights are truly some of the most impactful times for our kids because it's a night where their parents aren't there it's not it's mo it's mostly fellowship and so we yeah. just we always throw in a little bit of god stuff which i think is super <laughs> important but for the most part we just get to hang out we get to build bonds we get to we get to run around the church which you never actually get to do on a sunday <laughs> um and pretty much just kind of go nuts but i love it because our kids are always so energetic and so hyped. Actually, I didn't have to do any work finding the chaperones this time around because one of our youth was amazing and just ran up to a couple of adults and said, hey, we really need you. Otherwise, this isn't happening. <laughs> and essentially just got them on board for me. So I was really, really blessed. Hey, Sophia. <laughs> um, but all these times, it's all 
time that I get to spend with the kids. That's amazing. And our kids are wonderful. Mm -hmm. And they help out so much with children. And have, having a relationship with Kelsey definitely is going to help youth nurture get involved with the adults. So I'm really hoping that we can mesh everybody together a little bit more. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So that's just, um, I mean, that's just three small stories about what all, um, what all happens uh, with the nurture at our church. And um, what I, what I, all, all three of uh, these groups um, do, and really what our whole congregation does, um, is really, yes, we teach the Bible, we teach the faith, but we teach people and show people the love of Jesus Christ. And I see that, I mean, I saw it just this morning in worship. I see it in Sunday school every single week. Um, and so it's really just... It's really just phenomenal that we have these nurture commissions to do that, to show our kids, adults, and youth um, the love of Jesus Christ. Um, so, yeah, so that's it for us this week. Yes. Um, next week, uh, tune in for our next guest. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.